Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and you're watching Today we're back with another Shop My Stash video. I do these weekly and upload them primarily Tuesday. Sometimes we're a little early with Monday. Sometimes we're a little late with Wednesday. But this is my new drawer and last week out of my new drawer, what did I pull? I know that I pulled this, the MAC Power Hungry. We'll talk about that when we get to the eyeshadow palette drawer. Oh, and I pulled the ColourPop Villains Lippy in Puppies, and we'll talk about that when we get to the Lippy drawer. So this week out of the new drawer, I, you can see it's stuffed. If you haven't seen my Marshalls haul, go check that out. That's where all this came from. <laughs> but I know that I'm gonna pull this just because I want to get a drugstore haul update, and this was a part of that haul, and I, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this one. Is it obviously I haven't used it, but like in regards to like wanting to use it. So let's just give it a go. I, I have high hopes with this. For this, it was sold out forever when I was looking for it and I finally found it. So that could mean a good thing, you know. Um, the next thing I'm going to pull is this Revlon Lippy. I pulled this the week prior, but didn't get around to using it. I just think it will pair really well with that palette. This is the Revlon. I think it's the matte in HD Crush 670. The formula, if you're looking for a liquid lip, like don't go into those products thinking that this is going to be a liquid lip and you'll be good because it's not a liquid lip. It never dries out. <laughs> all right. That's all for this drawer. Everything face that isn't a blush bronzer highlight contour drawer last week. Uh, oh my god. Last week for foundation, we tried this CoverGirl Cover Olay Simply Ageless. I do not recommend this. Absolutely not. It's a no. Um, I pulled this one week before and I thought that it was the primer water. Like that it didn't do anything. So I was like, oh, let's pull out the Bobbi Brown. That didn't help it. It just picks up on textures. It picks up on pores. It emphasizes fine lines. It is okay coverage. I would declutter that if that's if I was like a declutterer like I might eventually do that I want to try it one more time with the Tatcha and then maybe the Becca primer but as for now I'm putting this in here probably for a couple months before I make myself go through that again because of the horrible experience I had last week I'm pulling old Kat Von D lock it tattoo foundation this is my favorite foundation and I need her back in my life after last week I feel like I've earned her <laughs> so we're gonna pull that for powders last week I used the MAC mineralized skin finish I really don't know why I still have this in my collection it's in a project pan but like what's left is here and it and it, it just it just won't come out but I'm gonna keep this in I'll pull it one more week and then I am going to um, put it in my empties so I would start with this and then I'd put this all over my face I like these two however I can't really last week even those couldn't help me so this week I want to pull just because I find that that Kat Von D can turn a little oily so I'm going to pull the cover FX I just think the pairing of them work really well this is the um, setting powder so and translucent I like that with that foundation so we're gonna pull that and then for primer last week I used like I said the Bobbi Brown this is my all-time favorite primer it couldn't even save that foundation though so I'm gonna put that back and I want to pull I like to pull I know it sounds weird because I just said that it causes me to be oily that foundation, but I like to pull these hydrate, the uh, hydrating primer and top it with the Cover FX. I don't know, it's weird, but it works. So we're going to pull this uh, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Quench one. This is in a Project Pan, and I really think that I have like two uses left. So because I only have two uses, I want to pull the Beckett First Light Priming Filter. So we're going to use these two. And then for moisturizers, we're going to keep in my Clinique Gel one. It's good for summertime, no complaints there. And for concealer last week, I used the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. You can see I'm almost done with it. I like I'm having to scrape, but I'm still getting product out, so I'm not going to be wasteful. I'm just going to put it back. And I want to pull one that I haven't pulled in a while. I like to pair it with that foundation. This is the um, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I love this. It's very hydrating, but like has coverage. I don't know. I like it paired with that foundation because it's a very dark concealer. 
So we're gonna pull that. For setting sprays, I use the Urban Decay All Nighter. I love this one. You know, I was gonna pull my Morphe, but just because I'm topping with the Cover FX, and that can be a very drying powder, I'm going to use this one to my advantage. The Revlon Photo Ready. This makes your skin super dewy, so we're gonna try this one. And that's all highlight, for blush, bronzer, contour drawer. And last week for contour, I pulled the e.l.f. contour. This is the cream contour. I absolutely love this. I was scared to use it at first, but I absolutely love this. And this week for contour, I'm going to use the Too Faced Toasted um, contour. Just, I don't know, it's like a, a darker one for me. So like what it works with is the hold on I've got two things in my hand is the is that foundation so I'm going to pull that so I can get some use out of it and then last week for highlighter I used this one the um, nude stick and illuminati as my base and I'm going to keep this in this is also in a project pan and I know what highlighter I'm going to pick to this week I'm going to pick the Jeffree Star Supreme Frost and Hypothermia so this is what it looks like. I know a lot of people don't like this, but look at that. How could you not like that? I love it. I love layering it as well. So we're going to pull that one. And then last one, just to put this up before I forget, what I pulled for bronzer, blush, and highlight was this MAC Jeremy Scott palette. This highlighter needs to be hyped up more because it is absolutely amazing. Look at that. It was, it's just so blinding. One of the things that I noticed in my Marshalls haul was my highlight, and that was what I used. Um... It was just like stand out. And for blush, like I said, we use that palette. This week, I kind of want to, I don't know, it's more purpley. Um, I don't think that I have like a plummy blush. I know that I don't, but I think that this one is the closest that I have. This is the Bare Minerals blush in the Indecent Proposal, and I really enjoy this, so I am going to keep this. And then for bronzer this week, I'm going to give this little guy over here some love. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I have to dig my brush in there for it to show up. But I've had the sample forever. We still haven't hit pan. Can you hit pan with a sample? Hit whatever you hit with a sample. And for under my eyes, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette. I absolutely love setting my eyes with this color. Right now, that's the only thing that I have to set my under eyes that I trust. So you'll see that a lot. <laughs> That's Everything all for the eyes. It isn't a palette. Last week for mascaras, we used the Dior Show mascara primer. I love this with the Smashbox Full Exposure mascara. This is almost gone, so I'll be pulling that soon. Um, this week, I think I want to pull. I know that I've. I don't know if I've opened that one. Uh, I don't want to open any. Actually, I want to go ahead and use. <laughs> Once again, I think I pulled this last week, but I'm going to keep it in the Dior Show primer and add in this super fan mascara by Smashbox. My favorite combination. So we're going to do that. I'm going to put up my Kat Von D Trooper liner and just pull my Tark Sex Kitten one for the sake of rotation. And also for under the eyes, I... Hold on, it's down here. I used this. This was really a star last week as far as eyes is concerned. It really, really popped. This is Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On in Space Dust. But we're going to pull, since it is that purple palette, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On in Voodoo. It's a really pretty purple color. and it's, I think it's almost dried out, so I want to use it as much as possible. We are going to keep in the Urban Decay Primer Potion, Project Pan, Going Strong. I love that product, um, so I'm not complaining. The only brow product I have right now, next week I have to pull a brow product from the new drawer, is the Benefit Groove Proof Pencil. It's not my favorite, but she's going to have to do. And is that all for this drawer? Let me see. Actually, I think I want to pull this Stila. It looks pink in there, but it comes off like a pink purple, and I think it'll pair well with that palette. So we're going to pull this Stila Glitter and Glow. And I'm sorry if you hear noise. There's a lot of people in my house right now. I'm trying to hurry this up because it's dying. So I think that's all. Actually, let me pull this color tattoo. Um, yeah, it, I think it'd be a really good base for some of those colors. So we're going to pull that. And 
that's all for the store. These is concerned. Last week I used this product, the Revlon HD Matte Lippy. This formula is not a liquid lip. It advertises a liquid lip, it never dries down. I'll insert the picture here. Doesn't last that long either. Now, what I was super excited for was the Disney Villains collection lip gloss in puppies. I didn't think that I would be able to pull this off because I have Invisalign, haven't been able to wear lip gloss. I tried the Anastasia when it was all over my teeth, couldn't get it off the Invisalign, terrible experience. This, maybe because it's a clear glitter, absolutely loved it. It worked, it's amazing. I did forget though how many times you had to reapply lip gloss because I'm used to wearing the liquid lippies, but yeah, love this. We're gonna put that back. And I just need to be <laughs> quick this week because my camera's about to die on top of multiple other reasons. We already have one lippy. I know this one will be safe. It will work with that palette. I pulled it recently. It's Melted Matte by Too Faced in Queen Bee. I'll give you a swatch right there. That's like a pinky purple, which is what we need. And then we have that other purple color. So I also have to put, uh, I'm going to pull this um, Sephora brand lip balm in rose hemp. It's amazing. Love it. And then I've just found these in the car. This is Jeffree Star in Hey How Are Ya? And a Cat Body Lippy that the name is covered up. But always love when you found lipsticks that you thought you lost, right? Yes. And I think I might pull this for like a darker option. I need to move on. What am I doing? Um, but yeah, let's see. Yeah, man, see that duochrome? And I think there's a lot of darker shades. It's no shade, no tea. That's what we're pulling by Jeffree Star. Liquid lip. All right, <laughs> that's all for the palette drawer. And all we have to do this week, next week we'll be pulling from here, but this week we need to put up my MAC Power Hungry. I'll tell you, I was absolutely disappointed in this. Everything turned out the same. The only thing that I can even get to show up was the darker colors, and I'll insert those pictures here. Was it an amazing look? No. And actually, like, I did that look in my Marshalls haul. You know how you think something looks better than it is in real life? Like, that's what it was with that. Like, and I think maybe I thought it was better because I was um, so frustrated with the other looks that this look was all right. I would declutter this. If I'm going for a bronze look, I'm going to pull the Jaclyn Hill OG palette. And honestly, like, these colors are non-existent. Like, so the fact that, like, the mattes didn't show up for the transition, it kind of made, brought the whole look down. I even used this all over the like, You can't tell, like, these colors. I used this as an inner corner. Like, but it all blended out the same. I was so frustrated. I'll put all those looks that I haven't shown on the screen here and I used makeup a lot this week and the whole reason I pulled that is because it was supposed to be easy for me remember well it wasn't easy it wasn't quick that's for sure because the buildup of like what you can get to show just was not worth the end result so next week I'm gonna pull a really good palette I really hope that this other palette works just because I had really bad makeup like if my my foundation doesn't work that really puts me in a bind but then on top of it if i can't even get my eyeshadow pa palette to work it was just bad makeup week um but that's all for this week i would show you all the products that i chose laid out like i normally do however my camera is going to die and there's a lot of company at the house and i just just isn't going to happen this time so thanks for watching guys bye